I love watching Larry work. Today's May 14th. Uh, Larry's out seeding. He loves it all year round, but come seeding, you just see the excitement in his face. We've got our peas in, we've got our canola in, we've got our wheat in, and today's first day on malt barley. There's constant, there's constant shuffle. He's always on his phone. He's pushing an 18 hour day. He's averaging coming home at one in the morning. But it doesn't bother him. I got probably another two, two and a half weeks left of hard going. He, he just keeps going until it gets done and then we go play. <laughs> In the house, it's busier for me right now. My wife is fantastic. She's so supportive and, and the kids are the same. So I'm getting the kids ready and on the bus and then I have my day to start getting dinner prepped for the guys. And then the kids come home and because we have the 4-H sheep right now, they're working with their sheep. 4-H is, um, it's sort of like a way to learn how to control animals. So. That one, that one, those, like those four are all pages. I break a lot of the records I have done with these lambs so far, but I think I'm gonna do a lot better this year. 4 H on Parade's coming up here in a couple of weeks. We're all looking forward to that. Um, my son Larry, I've never seen him as enthusiastic as he has been the last few years with learning technology. Yeah, technology is ever evolving. The weather instrumentation, the documentation, the data collecting, I mean, the sky's the limit. My dad uses such good technology to help him succeed and get better yields saves you thousands of dollars. It doesn't take rocket science to pay for it. He's not double guessing himself. He can see on the programs and on the monitors what's actually going into the ground. Like if you overlap six inches to a foot when you're working in the field and you're doing a lot of acres, that's a lot of double product that you're putting on. All that kind of stuff hurts your crop. Where technology now is we're not overlapping very much, and it saves us tens of thousands of dollars. Plus, when the operator pulls into the field, the boundary pops up and everything's all pre-populated, so he's not sitting at the corner of the field wasting a bunch of time and fuel and labor. By having JD Link, it definitely allows you to set it up ahead of time. If we got a problem, we can figure it out a lot quicker than ever. Even if I've had some issues talking to Lander, he'll log in and we can go through it together from wherever he is. So it's definitely taken my stress level down. Our yields are continuing to climb uh, from technology. You know, I've pulled up the data records off of my equipment, you know, to see if I'm maximizing that piece of equipment and figuring out, you know, an average gallons an acre, gallons an hour, how much horsepower we're actually maximizing on it. JD Link allows Larry to make sure the job is actually getting completed and also making sure that he has the information to show the product's getting applied the right way. Okay, and your, these are good? Yeah, see so your bottom, what you're not using. The guys, you know, they have iPads, they have their phones, they enter stuff in as they're hauling grain or something in the field. They're keeping track of it. Every single person that works here treats this farm like it's their farm. We really try to have fun here. You know, if you're not having fun, why do it, right? G Link, a lot of joy in the eyes of the farmers that are running it. It's exciting to them. And when they see the machinery that outperforms what they expected, it's a awesome feeling. I have the best crew. I, they're family. It's a family activity in farming, and I was brought up that way, Larry was brought up that way, and Trace is being brought up that way. Technology really has gone far, and probably 10 years from now, I might be sixth generation for this farm. I just want to continue that favor, and hopefully this farm can live for a lot longer.
to make a, a, a living at farming, you have to grow. With all this new technology, you know, the bigger we get, you add more equipment, you add more people. Yeah, so I have that stress, but this helps mitigate that. So you guys ready for the competition in a couple of weeks? We're going to be back now, you know that. Yeah, we're yeah. you guys around on Saturday and Sunday, so get yeah. ready. Paige, she's won the whole show three years in a row. So her brother, he's pushing her. <laughs>